Hey, this is Daryl Webster recording from the uh, San Francisco airport on my way home from the MVP Summit. And um, I wanted to bring to you a, a great OneNote tip using the new Microsoft Teams. Um, and uh, good luck to all those presenters for the, the OneNote conference. Um, now, the Microsoft Teams is all about bringing tools together to make it one place to be able to go to get all your conversations, your files, um, of course, your notes and, and hold meetings and, and various other things as well. And um, of course, I'm going to be focusing on OneNote to, to show you how it fits into the, the whole part of, what, of Microsoft Teams. So what we've got with a, a team is um, we can have channels. And um, as we create a new team, we have a, a, always have a general channel. And then we've got here an example of a Partner Day channel. Now, we're planning Partner Day events. And I'm going to be in um, Sydney at the end of the month uh, helping to run one of these. So we've got an Australia-New Zealand Partner Day. Now I've got some conversations going there and we've been able to make a, a planner. Um, so we've got that to help manage the various tasks that we've got to do and we can move them over into different buckets and we can assign them to people. And this is of course leveraging planner um, in the background. Now in the same fashion, what we're doing with the, um, the OneNote is we're also able to um, create notes together and, and be able to um, manage tasks or, or whiteboard things out or um, brainstorm things during a meeting and, and create meeting notes. And so what we've got here is a familiar look and feel of OneNote Online. Uh, and what is happening here is we've got a, a, a page and for every um, channel that we create within our team, we have a section. Uh, and you'll see here that it's quite isolated. All I'm seeing are just the pages that are within this section and of course the page that I'm currently working on. Um, so we are going to have a look at that structure in a short while. But as you can see, I'm able to do all the usual things I can do in uh, OneNote Online and that is exactly what it's doing. It's presenting that. Um, now I had a meeting earlier today and I was able to introduce someone to uh, OneNote Online and OneNote in general and we're able to take these notes together and they're really impressed. So we're able to get the same power of being able to do this thing, work collaboratively um, using Microsoft Teams. Now imagine having a conversation, starting up a, a meeting on fly, um, having four or five people join, and then we're all able to go to this tab. Very easy to find, just this tab here and be able to create notes and, um, and start getting things all together in one place. So we've got these notes, and I just want to show you too that you're not restricted to just going through um, OneNote Online. If you want to go through to that full experience, we're going to go through and have a look at that now. And that's going to help us to see the structure of the notebook. So what you will see there is Partner Day is my team, and I have a general tab, which is uh, reflecting the general channel. And there's our ANZ channel, which is our ANZ notes. And so you can see that structure is, is there as well. Now it means that I'm able to uh, get that full experience. You see that I've been doing some inking, and of course that's not something you can do yet in OneNote Online, um, but you're able to do that when you have that full experience. So whereabouts does this notebook fit? So if we go back to our team, um, of course, our, our notebook is going to be in the uh, SharePoint team site that is created in the background. So let's open that up and have a look. Now I'm logged in with my account. You can see that I'm going through to my, my team. Um, it's an Office 365 group in the background. And now Office 365 groups has a full SharePoint team site. So we're loading that up now and we're going straight through to the shared documents uh, where, where those files are. So you'll see the structure here. I've got ANZ as my channel and my, my shared uh, document library, that is uh, the container for all the files for this ANZ channel. If I stepped one level back up, you'll be able to see the um, document library going back up here. Yep, so you can see the, um, the documents that are all at that, that top level. And you'll also see the folders that are about to, to load there too, one for ANZ and one for general. Now, where does that notebook fit? Of course, it's um, sitting over there in the trusty old place with uh, SharePoint team sites. There we go, it's our, our notebook. So I'll click through to that. You'll be able to see the SharePoint Online notebook, rather the, the OneNote Online notebook. And um, you'll see that it's exactly the same experience as if you're working within Microsoft Teams. I open it up, OneNote Online. Not quite exactly the same experience. What you will see is we'll go through to the uh, view of being able to see all the sections. So here we go. Just running on uh, airport wireless here. Um, we've got our sections that are loading. 
there's our general notes and our ANZ notes that I'll click through to with our tasks left to complete. So there we go. Exactly the same structure. Um, we're getting that full experience of being able to um, uh, you know, work on a, a notebook, work on it together. But the beauty of it is that I'm able to do that all from that one note, uh, from the, uh, the Skype Teams, Microsoft Teams experience and um, and uh, get, get the benefits of doing that. So uh, that was a quick tip showing you where to find uh, this OneNote. Do make use of it when you're using Microsoft Teams, when you're uh, running your meetings, when you're trying to uh, reference certain things, gathering research together. It's all in one place within Microsoft Teams and OneNote is a very key part of that. So good luck to all those presenters for the, uh, the OneNote conference and hopefully this tip has been useful. Thanks for watching.